I was born deaf in my left ear. And then I got hit with type 1 diabetes in 2014. I was on diabetic coma where I had to get life flight at the children's hospital. There was a winter storm coming, so when I got life flighted, I couldn't have my parents with me. Being 12 years old, it was a hard time to put my trust in God and knowing what was going to happen. In my journey of life, God has taken what I thought was a loss and really helped me find the community I was made for. When I came to IUP, I knew no one, so I felt alone. My introduction to CCO was they had this hot chocolate stand every Wednesday right out of North Dining Hall where Kenny and Julie, they were giving out free hot chocolate. CCO helped me meet these other Christians on campus. I've made some strong friendships. I also went to more midweeks. I went to more missionary communities where I got to finally lead Bible studies with myself and the other leaders at IUP. And it was beautiful to see because like, they understood me. The first Bible study that I ever did, everyone showed up at my apartment. We were reading Job, and this was the first time many students have ever read Job or even heard about Job. Going into this, it was nerve-wracking because now I was scared. This was my first Bible study. I just wanted to do what was right. So we start off with the Bible study and I'm reading Job 1 and 2. And then I go into my questions. I go, all right, how did we think of this? Like, what do we not understand? What do we understand? No one wants to answer the questions because they don't know what to say or what to feel. And I'm like, everything that he had, like his animals, his kids, his house, they're not here, they're all gone. And it's like, how would you react? No one answers. And so I start talking about my history and my past. Like I lost my hearing and then with my diabetes, I can't produce insulin. I lost so much. And I always questioned, was I good enough to like spread the gospel? All of a sudden, the students opened up. And then they start answering how they felt. Oh yeah, I felt lost at this point in life. Having that connection and this experience, the Lord is teaching me how I can take these past experiences and move forward with them, but also relating to individuals with disabilities. And I think that's the beauty of it. In your life, wherever you're going through, you have your strengths and you have your weaknesses. And no matter what part of your story you're in, from a new chapter to an old chapter, God will always be there with you, even if you don't feel it. And I know that when you're struggling, you don't feel him, but he's still there every step of the way.